Good morning. This is Ms. Weber, our Teacher of the Year from Davila Elementary School. Can you tell us something a little bit about yourself, Ms. Weber? Yes, well, as you said, my name is Tiffany Weber. I've been teaching this my fifth year teaching here at Davila Elementary. Uh, my first three years, I taught a K-1 split, which was rather challenging. And this year, I had a first grade teacher, I had an all-first grade class. And I just have a love for teaching, I really enjoy what I do. Thank you. Now, what are the background people and events that uh, persuaded you to become a teacher? Well, from an early child, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I always enjoyed playing in school and things of that sort. And there were also teachers along the way that influenced me you know, that helped me to decide that, you know what, I think teaching really is for me. I just observed their, their interaction with their students and, you know, I just, you know, from watching them, I thought that, you know, I think teaching is really for me. And so, at the high school, I pursued uh, a degree in education and yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Now, what do you consider to be the major issues in public education right now? There's so many. I would have to start off with the dropout rate of uh, parental involvement. I would say underqualified teachers, but most of all, I would have to say it would be parental involvement because I think with the lack of parental involvement, everything else kind of falls under that. When a parent's not involved, and the parent doesn't, you know, the parent doesn't show that interest in your child's education, mm -hmm. then that's where the, that's when they start to drop out or that's when their attendance starts to become low or that's when their grades begin to fail. So I think that if we can kind of get the parent involvement going, that a lot of the issues that do occur in public education would probably wouldn't be as bad as they are now. What is your personal philosophy about teaching? Well, my philosophy is pretty simple. I just believe that all kids, uh, all students, should receive a quality education and an equal education. I believe that success is non-negotiable, so our kids can be successful, and I just want to try hard to make sure that they have food in my class. Oh, that's good. Now, uh, I remember last year, you, you're taking a master's degree online in Phoenix University. Mm -hmm. and, uh, how long did it take you to finish that course? Mm -hmm. One and a half years. Wow, one and a half years. It's not an accelerated program. The regular program is two years, is it? No, I think it's about, I'm not really sure, but it's yeah. one and a half years for me. Yeah, can you tell us something about your struggles, your, you know, the, the advantages of online education <laughs> and face-to-face -face teaching in the university? Well, I actually prefer the online. I Originally, I thought that I wouldn't. I thought that, mm, it's going to be too hard for me. And, you know, because I've always been used to the face-to-face -face yeah. instruction, but as, uh, as I went through the program, I, I really enjoyed it. And I got used to just the time convenience. And it, it's just something to get used to, but it was beneficial. If I could do it all over again, I would definitely do it the same way online. Mm -hmm. Just have to be disciplined. Disciplined. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't yeah. want to make the priorities. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yes. Some of our classmates are also taking an accelerated course online. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Weber, for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.